We should say a word or two about the temperature dependence of the diode performance. As we know, V sub T, the thermal voltage, is a function of temperature and enters into our equation in the denominator, the exponent. We also know that I sub S, the saturation current, um, is a function of temperature. And it turns out that it doubles about every five degree increase in uh, temperature. Most of the calculations we've been doing up to this point are at room temperature or 20 degrees C. So it turns out that for a forward biased diode, taking both of these temperature dependence, um, temperature dependencies into account, leads us to a rule of thumb that for a given current, the voltage across the diode decreases about two millivolts for each degree of increase in the temperature. So we're talking about for a given current, the greater the temperature, the smaller the voltage you will experience for that current. Heating up the diode makes it so that current flows at lower voltages, the same current flows at lower voltages. On the other hand, um, in the reverse bias, it's not quite as straightforward. Um, in the reverse bias, we know that generally speaking, the temperature or the, uh, the reverse biased current or the saturation current is relatively constant over a large number of voltages, over a wide range of voltages. And so our diode equation, when V, sub t v becomes negative, we have E to the minus exponent. And for any significant voltage here, this term then goes to zero. And the current through the diode is approximately equal to I sub S. But it turns out that that I sub S is not, not a great predictor for the current that you will actually experience flowing in the reverse bias diode. In reality, diodes operating in the reverse bias are generally, the currents in those are generally larger than I sub S. To a large extent, this larger than the predicted reverse current is due to something known as leakage current. And the leakage current is proportional to the junction area. So a rule of thumb for the temperature dependence of the current in the reverse mode is that the reverse current doubles for every 10 degrees in rising temperature. So the reverse current, the current flowing through the diode, I sub D, it's going to be greater than I sub S, will double, approximately double, for every 10 degree increase in temperature.